Hi, this is Doug Burks with Security Onion. In this video, we're going to run through updating Security Onion using our built-in update script called soup. So we're just going to go to a terminal and we're going to run sudo soup, put in our password, and it says this script will automatically install all available updates. So we do have to handle some uh, updates a little bit carefully, things like MySQL Server and PF ring. And so that's where this soup update script came from. So we just press enter and it's going to do sudo apt-get update and then it's going to uh, make sure that all the packages are installed in the proper order so that we don't have any issues with updates. So it's now gone into doing the sudo apt-get dist upgrade so it's downloading all of the updated packages that are available and again, this is all of the standard Ubuntu updates and all of the Security Onion updates available from our PPA, our personal package archive that's hosted by Ubuntu's Launchpad service. So the way this works is for Security Onion, we take all of our Security Onion specific software and we create a source package for each of those pieces of software. We then upload the source package to Ubuntu's Launchpad service where they then automatically compile 32-bit and 64-bit versions of those packages and host them in our own PPA. So this way we can use all the standard Ubuntu tools for updating. So we can use apt-get. Uh, the only issue is as I mentioned before, we do have to be careful with MySQL Server and PF ring updates. So that's where this soup script comes in. So in just a few minutes it should be done with all of these updates. And because it did install a new kernel, it will prompt us to reboot to activate that new kernel. And you can see there it's running DKMS. DKMS is a, an automatic build system for kernel modules that enables us to push the PF ring source code for the kernel module and have it be built every time a new kernel is installed automatically. So that way we don't have to push uh, compiled versions of kernel modules. We can just push the source package for the PF ring module and then whenever you update your kernel, your box then locally builds that kernel module. Okay, all updates have been installed. Press enter to reboot. And that's all there is to it. So you just pop open a terminal window, you type sudo soup, enter your sudo password, and the soup script takes care of the rest. So now we've rebooted, and as soon as the login screen appears, we'll log back in using our Ubuntu username and password, and we'll be ready for the next step. Stay tuned for the next video.